Grand Tetons. Yeah. They are grand. Okay, now I've lost the cover on my camera. Yeah, by the way, my camera case. To your cupboard, huh? Yes, I think so. Uh, Lake. It. Must have back. I got oh, all is. the points you wanted. That's Jackson Lake, I think. Too far. T-shirt. So pretty. <clears throat> to the sagebrush. Snow in the mountains. I would guess that walk. Grand Tons. Chapel of the Transfiguration is this good. Moose, Wyoming, Grand Teton. Isn't that beautiful? It's Wyoming still. Salt River Pass, elevation 7,630 feet.
Wyoming. Wyoming. And that end of the lake is Idaho. 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 Yeah. Wyoming and Utah. Utah. And is this still the Bear Lake? This is still the Bear Lake, yeah. And right now you're in the state of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Wyoming is across that mountain top. And then the half, other half of the lake up there where it's shaded, that's Idaho. And you're in Utah right here. Here's the lake. Bear Lake Valley. Oh, yeah. 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 Garden City, that's really eight. Oh, fuck, there's that church we went by, Paris. Oh, yeah. Gray rock found throughout Logan Canyon makes Bear Lake blue, green, or aquamarine. Much of the rock in the area is limestone. It's calcium in it. As rainwater travels over the limestone, it removes the calcium and transports it into the lake. Millions of microscopic mirrors, calcium reflects light like the sky. <laughs> Then I remember where I've been. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Down below here. There it is. 